He's given us a departure fuel out of here, instrument approach at Queenstown. Diversion is Invercargill okay. and 30 minutes. Works out to about uh, 5,000 kilos of fuel. Yep. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it's good. Air New Zealand flight 651 from Christchurch to Queenstown is now boarding. With the light northerly, takeoff will be on runway 02, followed by a 160 degree left hand turn and a southwesterly track towards the Southern Alps and into Queenstown. It's the sort of flight the 737 was made for. On the flight deck of November Alpha Whiskey, the pre-flight formalities are underway. Christchurch Ground is on 651. Simon radios Christchurch Ground, indicating the crew have received the ATIS weather and requesting clearance for the flight to proceed. It's on 651 weather, Gulf current, the time 25 and a half, you cleared Queenstown 2 Alpha, flight level 260, squawk 5741. The squawk code transmits the flight number along with heading and altitude information through the transponder radio and shows up as a tag on the air traffic control radar. 651 cleared Queenstown 2 Alpha, flight level 260, 5741. 651, Flight 651 is undergoing final loading and the aircraft receives the walk-around treatment. All external areas are carefully inspected. It goes without saying that this check is crucial for maintaining safety standards and the desired level of dispatch reliability. With fuel and load sheets signed off, it's time to get cracking. And go ahead, the last place. Cockpit preparation is complete. Lights test. Check. Oxygen interphone. On. Your damper. On. Fuel. The four pumps are on. 5,100 kilos signed for. And the flows are zero. Galley power is on. Emergency exit lights. Arm. Um. Cabin signs. On auto. Window heat. On. Hydraulics. Are normal. Transponder. Set standby. Air conditioning pressurization. Left pack on. Bleeds on and set. Autopilot. Disengaged. Instruments. Synchronized and cross check. Andy skid. On. Auto brake. Off. Radio's radar. Set standby. Speed brake. Down detent. Parking brake. Set. Stab trim switches. Normal. Fire warning. Is checked. A rudder and aileron trim. Free and zero. Force touch it. Complete down to the line. Touch oh, thanks. Standard board procedures uh, here at Christchurch, then Simon. If I reject the takeoff, I'll apply the brakes, close the thrust levers and get them to reverse thrust. You'll um, raise the speed brake. At or after the V1, if we have a problem, we'll uh, continue the takeoff and you'll monitor my actions on the flight path. Flight 651 will follow the standard instrument departure for Christchurch's runway 02 via the wood end NDB north of the field, then a southwesterly track following the 216 outbound radial of the Christchurch Airport VOR. Standard abort procedure we've discussed, the uh, noise abatement procedure is standard, and apart from that I think uh, we've discussed everything, we're ready to go, Simon. Christchurch is 651, we're ready to start with 49 souls on board, we're ready to push them back. Yes, ground push, and start approved. 651, push and start approved. Ground, ready to push. Okay, thanks, park break off. Park break off. Okay, the uh, before starts below the line. Cargo door. Is not fitted. Zero fuel ready for nice folks. Are set. Air conditioning. Pack off. Start pressure. 45. Any collision line. On. Before start checklist complete. And as we push back off the gate here Christ at Christchurch and are positioned out on the taxiway, engaging the starter takes the air from the APU and uh, motors over the number two engine up to 20% on the core, the N2 spool. And once we get to 20%, we'll introduce the fuel and the ignition with the start lever. And the engine immediately bursts into life. Start a cutout. So we'll start on number two. We'll start number one in the same way. Cut out. Okay, that's a good start on both engines. 
generators go on and we complete the after start checks. Electrical. Generators are on. Peter Heat. On. Any ice? Off. Air conditioning pressurization. Both packs on. APU bed off and flight. Start switches. Low ignition start levers. Idle detail. Recall. This check. After start check list complete. OK, both engines are started. The checks are done. We're ready to taxi. Just waiting for the tug to be unhooked from the aircraft at the front. We get the all clear from the ground crew and we'll be on our way. Flight 651 to Queenstown is now set to taxi for Christchurch's runway 02. The destination is New Zealand's showcase South Island tourist area, located 1,000 feet above sea level at the northern end of the pristine Lake Wakatipu. It's a southern mountain paradise featuring stunning landforms, the major ski fields, and for a 50-ton airliner, a confined and potentially tricky approach and final. Taking off towards the north today at Christchurch, we'll have to turn about, probably left, to heading towards Queenstown, which is a southwesterly track. Here's our clearance. It's clear on mine. And mine. And flaps one, please. Taxi clearance. Christchurch, 0651, taxi with 4-9, souls on board. 0651, taxi holding point, runway 02. 102, 651. A little bit of thrust to release the brakes, reduce the thrust, and the aircraft moves steadily away. Steering the aircraft by means of the tiller, which is only on the left side of these particular 737s of ours. So the captain gets to do all the taxiing of the aircraft, while the first officer looks after the other checks. And the rudders are free, Simon, the APU goes off, the normal before takeoff checks, please. And the takeoff briefing. Alrighty, this is standard procedure mine for a bleed zone. Reduced EBA takeoff 1.91 and 87% N1 minimum. Viewed call V113, rotate 125. Your V2 bug should be set at 131. 131. Capri track single engine for this takeoff would be 800 feet. We're climbing 3000 as per the departure procedure on wood end. Understood. Go ahead, the list, please. Flight controls are checked. Flaps. 1-1 one, one with a green line. Stabiliser trim. Is a six and a quarter unit. APU. Off. Take a briefing. Reviewed. The 737 is now configured for takeoff. Flap is set to one degree. Elevator trim is set. Engine bleed valve supplying cabin pressure are open. The engine turbine pressure ratio is bugged at 1.91 for takeoff. And an N1 RPM minimum of 87% noted. At the takeoff weight, V1 decision speed is 113 knots. Rotate 125. V2 safe single engine climb out bugged for 131 knots. And the auxiliary power unit and the aircraft's tail cone is switched off.